last week we posted our egg beater progression on our YouTube channel. That progression was all done on the Vasa erg. Uh, and we wanted to show the, the point of that progression is to take those movements that you learn on land on the Vasa erg and then apply it to what we should be doing in the water. So when you set up, you want to make sure you keep your elbows off of your body. So you don't want your elbows too close to your body. The reason for this is as we start rotating, those elbows are going to come inward. Uh, and we don't want your elbows to come slamming into your body. Uh, that actually prevent you from creating a paddle all the way through and can actually take extra time in order to, to finish your pull properly. So if we start watching Lissa, after she, now she's set up those elbows correctly, uh, we're going to watch her in slow motion. She's doing both arms at the same time. It's a little bit easier to learn new movements with both arms at the same time to start with. Um, but she's really focused on making sure she utilizes her tricep as she extends her elbow and her palms are going to be facing back behind her. I'm going to watch this. So very simple motion, very small movement, just really isolating the finish of the stroke. So once you can do both sides at the same time, go ahead and start alternating arms so it's more like freestyle. And it almost will feel like in the water, like a reverse doggy paddle in a way. All right. So barely lifting up through the shoulder at all. No lift through the shoulder, really. Uh, using her triceps to extend the elbows. And then we're going to take this to the water and do the same exact motion. So in the water, just enough kick so your legs don't sink. Looking straight down, good posture. Still focused on using the triceps to push back. And if you watch really closely, you can see her left hand start to push up towards the surface. All right, and we don't want her hand to be pushing upward. We want her palm to be pushing back so that we keep horizontal propulsion, just like we see on the right hand side. We want to be pushing back all the way through. We don't want vertical propulsion because vertical propulsion either pushes us up or down. So we always want horizontal propulsion. But it's the same exact movement that she was just practicing and demonstrating on the Vasa Erg. So it's direct application from what you do on land to what we do in the water. This is step one of our egg beater progression. And we'll be putting out step two and three and four, uh, breaking down these movements in the next coming weeks. I hope this is helpful.